Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. In Chinese philosophy, Taijitu, commonly known as the yin yang symbol, represents the harmony of the universe. I'm going to show you how to create this powerful ancient Chinese symbol. Go to File and New. We'll name our document Yin Yang. The size is 720 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. To fit the entire document on your screen, press Ctrl-0 on a PC or Command-0 on a Mac. Let's make a simple background for our symbol. Open your gradient tool and click on the gradient box. Click on the lower left stop and the color box. I'll type in FF and four zeros. Click on the lower right stop, the color box, and I'll type in 870303. Close the color picker and the gradient editor. Go to the bottom and press and hold Shift as you drag up to the middle of your document, then release. Double-click on the background thumbnail and name it Base. Go to View and make sure rulers and snap are checked. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to the ruler on the left edge and drag out a guideline to the center. It'll snap in place because we have snap checked. Go to the top ruler and drag out another guideline to a little above the center then press enter or return. Open your elliptical marquee tool, go to the crosshairs, press and hold shift and alt on a PC or shift and option on a Mac and drag out a large circular selection. Click on the new layer button to make a new layer. We'll fill it with black and since black is our foreground color press alt delete on a PC or option delete on a Mac. Notice we still have our selection. Click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. Click on the black circle to make it active and open your rectangular marquee tool. Drag out a rectangular selection across the left side of your document. We'll fill the selection with white and since white is your background color press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. To delete the selection Press Ctrl or Command D. Ctrl click or Command click on the layer mask to make a selection of its shape. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to the lower right corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift as you drag the corner to the crosshairs. Click inside the Transform and press and hold Shift as you drag it to the right until it snaps to the center then press enter or return. Make a new layer and fill the selection with white. Go back to select and transform selection. Go to a corner and press and hold shift and alt on a PC or shift and option on a Mac as you drag it in to make a smaller circular selection. Then press enter or return. Fill it with black and delete the selection. Make a copy of it and invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Drag it below the top layer. Press and hold Shift as you drag it down until it snaps to the bottom of the outer circle. We now have our basic yin yang symbol. Let's add a reflection of it at its base. Hide the guidelines by pressing Ctrl or Command H. Let's add more room to the Layers panel. Click off the eyeball of the base to hide it and press Ctrl Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac to make a composite snapshot of the symbol. Hide the other layers and click back on the eyeball of the base to make it visible again. Make a copy of the symbol and open your transform tool. Go to the top of the transform and drag it down. Then press enter or return. Go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. We'll blur it by five pixels 
and reduce its opacity to 30 percent. Let's make the reflection gradually disappear the further it is away from the symbol. Make a layer mask next to the reflection. Open your gradient tool and click on the gradient box. Click on the black to white thumbnail and click OK. Press and hold shift as you drag up from the bottom of your reflection to the bottom of the symbol. Let's add some shadows and highlights. Make the symbol active and double click it to open its layer styles. Click on Inner Glow and click on the color box. Choose Black and make the Blend Mode Normal. The opacity is 75% and the size is 250 pixels. Click OK. Let's add some reflective light on the lower right. Control click or Command click on the symbol to make a selection of its shape. Make a layer mask of the selection next to the symbol. Again, make a selection of the symbol shape and go to Select and Transform Selection. Move the transform a little up and to the left. Then press Enter or Return. Go to Select, Modify, and Feather. We'll feather it 20 pixels. Invert the selection. We'll fill the lower left of the symbol with the foreground color, which is white. Delete the selection. Let's add a soft highlight in the center. Open your brush tool and choose a large size. I'm using 400 pixels with a hardness of 0% and an opacity of 30%. Go to the center and click down once. Let's add red reflecting up onto the bottom. First, we need to fuse the inner glow effect with the symbol. To do this, make a new layer, shift click on the symbol to highlight both layers, and then press Ctrl or Command E to merge them. Go to the layer mask and press and hold Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac and drag a copy of it next to the layer. Make the symbol active and click on the foreground color. Click down on a bright area of your background to pick up its color. Then click OK. Open your brush tool. I'm using a 100 pixel brush. The blend mode is overlay and the opacity is 30%. Brush over the bottom edge of your symbol to give it a hint of the red background reflecting onto it. Now you can make your own powerful ancient yin yang symbol. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.